game, game dev, dev journey. journey. People are making incredible games with Godot. Here are just five of them. Dwarf Workday is an adventure platformer where you play as a little dwarf in a classic workday down the mine. Explore the mine, hook, find raw diamonds and refine them with two giant hammers. You can hook to the walls in order to mine raw diamonds. If you find enough diamonds of the same color, you'll unlock a new power-up. For example, a longer rope or a way to hook upwards. The game's controls feel great and the puzzles are really engaging and they make the game a lot of fun to play. You always feel like you're making progress and gaining new skills, so these early levels are certainly not frustrating. Interestingly, the game implements web monetization. In-game, this is a way of supporting the creator by playing the game. I found the hammers refining the diamonds to be very satisfying. Play the game for yourself on itch. Pootle Tootle is a single player pixel art retro 2D parkour platformer for PC and Linux, where the player, a marked to be recycled computer called hard drive, is in a race against time to escape his own obsolescence through a labyrinth of levels. Hard drive must outwit the recyclopods in a fast paced fever dream of agility and finesse. Dell, the robot courier responsible for delivering hard drive to his fate at the recycling factory, takes pity and tries to help hard drive by leaving floppy disks with special programs to assist him. I really enjoyed this speedrunning platformer. It was fun solving the parkour levels and gaining upgrades along the way. The old school computer theme suited the game very well. It's a fun game and you can play it for yourself on itch. Space is dark and full of terror and raw resources. In Space Major Minor you must mine asteroids, upgrade your equipment and blast cosmic aliens. This is another jam game which could easily be made into a fully fledged game. The gameplay reminds me a lot of Blastronauts which I featured last week. I have to say that I found the movement really slick. The jetpack was fun to use as well as mining feeling very satisfying. You should play this game for yourself. It will inspire you to make your own game and shows you just what's possible with Godot. Strange Shores is a short adventure on a nameless island. You get to meet its bizarre and friendly inhabitants and follow their advice to build yourself a way home. This is a lovely looking adventure game and for fans of the genre it will be a welcome addition. Personally I'm not patient enough to read all the text and so I miss out on the essence of the game. However the game is beautiful and lovingly put together. This is a good example of the adventure game style in Godot and I recommend you play it for yourself to form your own opinion. Dreaming about pink clouds and cotton candy? But what's that? Work is calling. You can already hear the alarm clocks. In Don't Wake Up, you want to delay the inevitable waking up and search for the alarm clocks that want to ring you out of your sleep. But what's that? Is your dream slowly changing? This is a surreal 3D adventure in which you wander around in your own dream trying to destroy the alarm clocks which want to wake you up for work. It shows that Godot is a highly capable 3D engine and it's one in which you can explore fantastic environments. Play this game for yourself over at itch and try not to wake up. More and more great games are being made with Godot every day so stay tuned for the next in my series, Great Godot Games.